and today I'm gonna to show you a demonstration on how I do my cold reads when I'm practicing with Shell Ramos. If you guys like this, please click, click the like button and the thumbs up. Okay, I just had Shell start the timer, so now we're going to, I have 15 minutes to go through this script and, uh, whew, and to see how it goes, okay. So the first thing I do is read it. Interior Italian restaurant night. Wills and Charlotte are in the middle of a candlelight dinner. Wills refills her wine glass. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I can feel absolutely to uh, compelled to tell you the truth about this, even at the risk of, hey, you're just giving me the creeps, just spit it out. Will holds his breath for a moment and then exhales and says it. I never had a date for the benefit. My plan from the beginning was for you to come with me. So this is the first time I'm finding out. Mm. The very first time I'm finding out about, I never had a date for the, he never, he lied. He, he said he had a date for the benefit and she bailed. So he called me and said, would you go? So I'm finding out he lied to me and he loved me from the beginning. A Pam from the beginning was free to come with me. Charlotte sets her down her glass of wine and pieces it together. So I'm, I obviously didn't know this before. So I made the hat for myself. So I made a hat for the benefit for his, uh, for his supposed date that never came. And you bought that dress for me. And he nods, so he bought a dress and he asked me how I thought about the dress. And it was a really pretty dress. And he always asked me what size she, like she's about your size, what size are you? I mean, it's kind of flattering and Weird at the same time. Hmm. Why? I mean, why me? I guess I really want him to say, because I don't have it like I'm good enough. I actually have it like I'm not good enough for anyone. And I always loved him. Will settles himself in meeting her eyes, speaks softly. The eulogy you gave at Ella's service was so Impressive. He spoke about her death, about loss, in a way that I could never have done. He understood life emotionally in a way that I didn't. Whatever that understanding was, I want to get close to it. Whatever that was, I wanted to get close to it. So, th so for me, I think it's more of like, oh, let me just, you know, I'm not good with... I'm getting so emotional because it's uncomfortable. So, and that's our, uh, that's our thing. We like to joke. Well, first of all, he says, let me say you have great taste because that little dulce. Well, first of all, let me say they have great taste because that little dulce thing Gabbana was to die for. And second, don't ever lie to me again. Don't ever lie to me again. I mean, it was like really painful for me to, to know like he loves this other woman because I loved him. Not like he loves this other woman, he just wanted to be with this other woman. And he didn't know that I loved him. And then I thought, well, I'm not good enough. There isn't a lie in the world I'd rather hear than the truth. Will stares at her solemnly, her expression just somber. Gives her hands and points her lips. 
forward to you, yes, sir. I'm actually thinking I hate lying. Because me, this character, had a dad that lied all the time. Like, all the time. He lied to me all the time, saying he was going to be somewhere and he wasn't. Saying he'd never leave and he wasn't. And that was, like, the worst in the world. It's just, like... And every time you give them the benefit of the doubt and, um, they would break it. That really sucks. Okay, so I got two more minutes. So the last two minutes, I'm just going to scan, um, again and just read it again. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I feel absolutely compelled to tell you the truth about this, even at the risk of, hey, here, giving me the creeps, just spit it out. I'm just thinking about it. I'm really just like, I'm really just thinking. I'm really just thinking, like taking it in, thinking about it. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about this. Yeah, so basically what I do is I just, con I'm just like, really just think about it and I imagine it. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do. And uh, when Shell calls me back, I'll click record. My ear itches so bad and I can't make it flop at me. I'm just gonna throw my heads down. Okay, <laughs> I'm dealing with my, with my freaking ears. Mm. Oh my god! If you guys want merch, my "Don't Act Just Be" crop top is on my website. I love it. So if you want my merch, on my website. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up really quick. You look cozy. Oh my gosh, I'm so cozy. <laughs> pull this up. Okay, good. Okay. So we'll just read it. Is yeah. Good? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, great. And I'm, I'm sorry, you're Charlotte, right? Yes. Okay, great. Feel good? Yeah. I'm just going to okay, see great. where it goes. <laughs> Do what? So we're just going to see what happens. Okay, awesome. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I feel absolutely compelled to tell you the truth about this, even at the risk of... Okay. 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 Just say it because I'm pretty creeped out. Okay. I, I never had a date for the benefit. My plan from the beginning was, was for you to come with me. So, um... So I made the hat for myself. And I made, I, I, you bought that dress for me. Yeah. Why? I mean like why, like why, why me? The eulogy you gave at Ella's service was so was, was impressive. You spoke about her death, about loss, in a way that I, I I could have never have done. And you understood life emotionally in a way that I didn't. And whatever that understanding was, I wanted. I wanted to get close to it. Well, the most enjoyable, yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, I do have to say really great taste because that Dolce & Gabbana was to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And, um, and second, don't ever lie to me again. I'm serious because there there isn't a lie in the world that I would love to hear than just the truth okay good it was it was it was interesting I don't know how I feel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I totally get it I, th I think it was great I think it was awesome <laughs> I have no idea what 
what's going on? I was just sitting here for 15 minutes. So I was like, what can I make up about this? And I made up this whole thing. So I was like, okay, cool. What, what, you made, what do you mean you, what you made up? And the backstory, because I don't know what was happening. So I right. just like, just made up something. Do you, like, is there anything in here that makes you think, like, um, how long that they've actually been seeing each other? I was feeling like I've been like, I, this is what I came up with. I felt like I have been like his best friend for a very long time. And maybe not, maybe not. But I, I've been feeling like, may, or maybe he met me at, maybe not. Maybe he met me at um, Ella's, Ella's service, Ella's funeral. And then we just kind of spoke. And then uh, uh, he just kind of was like, hey, I don't have a date to this. Would you want to? You know my date like you know she I have a date to this and um, uh, you seem like you really know about people would you like to help me figure this out and I'm like oh yeah sure and so for the for the last two weeks I've been helping him figure out this date and he's like yeah. oh you know like come with me to try your dress on or try, try everything on and I'm, and I'm just like there and I start falling for him and it kind of sucks that I'm doing all this and then last second, last second, I'm supposed to. Like, he's supposed to go. He's like, um, actually, she canceled. Will you come? He's like, good thing the dress fits you, <laughs> right? So then I was like, I was like, okay. So it's like I feel like it was in it. It was like one of those things where you become friends with somebody and like pretty quickly, it's like you like you realize that you love them. And I think, I mean, that's how I. That's what I made up. Okay. Yeah, I'll try it like that. Okay, cool. Awesome. <sighs> um, I don't know why, but I, for some odd reason, I'm feeling absolutely compelled to tell you the truth about this, even at the risk of, um... Okay, um, <laughs> you're just like, you're creeping me out, so just go ahead and just, just say it. So I made the hat for myself. And I, um, oh, you got the dress, you got the dress for me. Why? Like, why me? Well, okay. First of all, let me say that you just had great taste because the Dolce & Gabbana was to die for. Okay, thanks, thanks. <laughs> You're like, just suck it. Just don't, <laughs> just don't ever lie to me again. All right. I'm serious. Because I... There is no lie in the world that I would want to hear than just the truth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I felt like I was going like this through it, but I was like, that's fine. I'm just going to allow myself to do it. No, I feel like you were like really present. Like, I liked it a lot. After we got the phone, Shell just spoke a little bit more about you know, how she thought about it. She really liked it. So that's what we do. We go back and forth and talk about it. If you guys really like me showing you how I demonstrate um, different things and how I work in acting, please comment below and say what you want me to, excuse me, what you want to see. Make sure you like, hit this bell notification so you don't miss any more and subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing a lot more uh, demonstrations, how to's, vlogging, everything. Bye guys.